G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. And if you've got one of these, you're going to want one of those. And if you've got one of those and one of those, then this is pretty much a must-have too. Okay, what am I talking about? Well, I've already reviewed the version 2 Hobby King Video Visor. And I found it to be, as far as value goes, a pretty kick-ass product. I mean, video glasses are an expensive option or expensive requirement for flying FPV. And, but they start at ridiculously high prices, you know, $300, $400 for a set of video glasses. Now, the Hobby King FPV Video Visor version 2, as I say, which I've already reviewed, it's a way cheaper alternative. And okay, it's not as elegant. You won't look quite as cool in the field as you would with your Fat Sharks or your Sky Zones on. But if money is an object, then this is really, apart from just using an LCD screen, this is really the only way to go. You can go to a head play, I suppose, but the head play, that's... It's getting up around the $280, $300 mark as well. So, you know, this is just simply the best value on the market at the moment. Uh, so when you buy your version 2 kit here, you get all sorts of stuff. You get some Fresnel lenses and things. We've already seen this. I did the review. You can go back and find that review and have a look. But one of the bitches I had with it was that the, the focal length was just slightly out for me. It was just a little bit too short. And also people, you know, they, they give you multiple lenses, but they're all the same. So what on earth is the point? And it seems that when you stack Fresnel lenses or Fresnel lenses or whatever you want to call them, you don't get an increase in the magnification in the same way you do when you stack ordinary lenses. So if you want to make the picture bigger, well, you're stuffed with the standard lenses. So that is why, let me put this to the side for a moment. I'll come back to it. That is why Hobby King have seemingly released this, the Quantum v2 add-on kit and in here i'm not going to unbox it but i'll show you what's inside in here you probably the most important part is this now this is these are new lenses you got 1.25 1.5 and one what's one times i always thought one times was like nothing unity no magnification but this is obviously not a one times lens because it's i don't know how does that work anyway so anyway you've got these lenses and these differ from the lenses in the original fpv visor kit because they aren't Fresnel lenses, they are solid concave lenses. Look at this, these are, see, see that, there's, there's actually, it's a real lens, it's not a Fresnel lens or Fresnel lens, it's a real lens, and it does magnify, see that, so it isn't one, maybe it multiplies by 100%, which makes it a two times in my book. But there you go, so you get those, and the beauty of these lenses is that as, I'll, put, I'll wrap this up because I'll scratch it otherwise, because I haven't put it together yet, the beauty of this is that if you look at the instructions, <clears throat> you can actually combine these lenses to get greater magnification. Now, here we go. So there's the lenses it provides. But if you want to increase the magnification, you can put them back to back, as it says in the instructions. So these are your single lens application. These are your double lens. You can back to back them and make an even more convex lens, get more magnification. That's a good idea because, as I said, though, the, the original version 2, it was just a bit weak in terms of the power of the lenses. So that, that's really cool. That's great. It comes with some other stuff, a different cable design, different cables. You've got your little plastic, that's new holders for the new lenses. Um, this I think is, I'm not sure, I think it's another place to put your battery so you get a bit of balance on your headgear, but I'll have a look at that in a moment. Lots and lots of foam rubber, foam plasticky rubber for putting around to insulate your face. And this is another piece of kit. I think this is designed to hold your cell phone. Why? I don't know, maybe you want to send text messages while you're flying FPV. No, it turns this, uh, the, the V2 video visor into kind of like a Google cardboard thing, you know, um, where you can put your smartphone in there and look at VR applications, I don't know. Um, I don't see that as being a big draw card for me. I'd just spend the money and buy Google cardboard, but uh, actually I should check and see if my phone will fit in there because it's always important. My phone's probably a little, yeah, it's a little small, <laughs> ever since the handle fell off the side. Um, but what they have now suggested you do as well is because even with this V2 kit, the, the polystyrene is a little short and the screen is a little close to the lenses. So some people find that, you know, the focal length just isn't quite right. Well, on the Hobby King website now, they've put a file under this product, which enables you or recommends that you put your LCD screen in here and, and use this to sort of extend the distance between the screen and the LCD, sorry, the LCD and the lens just a little further, which gives you the perfect focal length for almost everybody. So that's great. And then there's this little piece of metal here, which enables you to tighten the strap over your head by winding it through there, I think. There's also, ooh, look at that. It's like, it's got gold on it. Woo! Um, as I say, I'm not totally sure what these bits do yet because I haven't put it together, but I shall. I shall put it together and see how it works. Okay, I've assembled the uh, video visor with the new sleeve and I've worked out what goes on here. This has adjustable 
straps like that. The old one doesn't. That's why you have that little metal thing in the V2 upgrade or the what is it? Yeah, the version 2 add-on kit. That little piece of metal on the version 2 upgrade kit, which is hiding in the bottom of the box, excuse me, shuffling off camera. Um, that's designed to work on the original visor so you can shorten this up. But of course you don't need it with this because it's got the Velcro in it. And there's also Velcro on the sides to pull this tighter, like so. It's really well designed. This little neoprene thing alone is um, a great improvement to the product. And it's got the places for your video receiver. Uh, battery pouch at the back, as I say, which gives you a bit of counterbalance, not much. Um, the wiring is all about the right length, which is great. So I didn't need any of the extra cabling on the that comes with the add-on kit. Now, the thing I put it together, as you would normally with the other lens in there, the new solid lens, and it's crap, <laughs> I have to say. Um, the effect of the focal length is even worse than with the old Fresnel lens. Um, the picture's sharper because there isn't the distortions produced by the Fresnel lens, but the magnification is inadequate. And also, sliding these sliders makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. It's like, you know, it doesn't seem to change the image at all, at least not for my eyes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the screen to the back of the polystyrene, which is the recommended, as a Hobby King, I've got a file saying do that. I'm just going to do mine with duct tape because I'm going to keep the foam in case I want to use my smartphone. You saw my smartphone. Um, but yeah, I'm going to now modify it by moving the LCD screen further back and we'll see if that improves the optics. Okay, so here's the current setup. We've got the lens there. I know it's actually, it's, it's wobbly. Um, like it doesn't reach top and bottom. So it doesn't, it, it wobbles backwards and forwards. That's a bit of an oversight. I might just put some foam down the bottom there just to hold it. But I think really this is just going to be jammed right up there because it makes no difference and moulds will stick it up the front. So what I'm going to do now is, and other people have done this before with the old, the original version, is move this to the back like that because you just need that extra distance to get a decent focus. I had to wear my other glasses which are a plus four to get it to focus in the default configuration. So now I'm going to put it together, I'm going to see if this will work. Got duct tape at the ready. Now this isn't the Hobby King approved method, they say to use the foam that comes with the version 2 add-on kit, but I'm just going to try it out first. I don't want to commit until I see whether it is going to work. So I'm just using a bit of duct tape here and put that down the side and I'll do the same. I'm trying to get this all centered so it looks lovely and we don't have the foam blocking the LCD. Just want to put on the other side here. This is crap duct tape. I don't know where this came from. Um, not, not my favorite bit of duct tape. Let's do the same here. And hopefully that will, yeah, that's looking, I can, I can see that's looking better already. So I'm not going to even bother using more duct tape. I'll, I'll put it back in the sleeve and I'll just have a look and see how well it seems to perform with that simple little modification. Okay, now I've got to say that that has improved things, but not enough for me. I'm using the 1.5 or 1.25 times lens. I thought I'd start with the median one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, Take it apart again, I'm going to put the two strongest lenses together, the 1.25 and the 1.5, and see if that's going to give me enough magnification that the, the focal length works with my eyes. Now, I am a little bit short-sighted, but I do find when I'm using other video glasses, such as the Fat Sharks and the Sky Zones, I don't have a problem. So I'm sure I should be able to get this set up so that it, it works with my eyes, just like the, the video glasses do. Right, I've taken the back part off this lens. I'm going to have to put this other one on here. I'm not sure if it's, I really don't know if it's going to fit back together like this though because it makes it very, very thick. Although the instructions clearly show you being able to do this. And just a word of warning, keep a brush nearby because these things pick up dust, electrostatic, they attract the dust. And once you get them together, of course, a piece of dust in there is going to ruin your day. It's going to be constantly nagging at you. So if I put these two together, obviously, yes, we have much more magnification. Oops, I have to but um, I don't know if the whole thing is going to go back into the. Uh, no, I don't know if the whole thing is going to go back into the frame properly. So, and I have got dust in there. God, it's just about impossible to, to put it together without the dust. And which way around does this go now? That's a big question, isn't it? Hmm. I have no idea. Um, that way, I guess. Or is it? No, it must be the other way. Oh. Hmm, hang on a moment. Jump cut. Voila, I did manage it and the frame does hold it all together. Bit of, bit of distortion there, you know, it's a bit of um, pincushion distortion against the mat there. So the optics aren't that good, but you know, you know I mean, optics in FPV gear are generally renowned as being 
pretty crap anyway so I'm not too gravely concerned about that I'll put the little sidey bits on and we'll put it back in and with maximum magnification so that's the 1.5 and the 1.25 I'll just see whether it's going to actually work with my eyes again and I'll leave the screen on the back there because I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to have to be and jump cut time again woohoo with those modifications it's just dead right it's absolutely dead right so I've got the 1.25 and the 1.5 lens in the frame I've moved the LCD to the back of the polystyrene section of the thing in the mitt and all in the nice glove and it's just absolutely perfect now I'm really happy really impressed that's a lovely and the balance look at the, the balance on this is really good I'm holding it here it's just you know it's with that battery at the back it's really improved the balance of the whole thing this is uh, a really nice bit of kit now I've got to say that that add-on kit has made a difference um, the, as I say the V2 video visor was pretty good compared to the v1 and and other options uh, and but with this add-on kit and with this new s s uh, sleeve here it's just absolutely gobsmackingly good i'm totally happy the picture quality is really good as uh, as i showed you of course that has improved slightly through the addition of these lenses uh, these new lenses they do have a bit of pin cushion distortion but they produce a much sharper image than the old lenses the old fresnel lenses so yeah I'd have to give this a bit of a thumbs up, it's pretty good actually. Now the only thing that remains to be seen is whether once you total up the cost of your, your V2, well, V2 video visor and the add-on kit and the sleeve here, you know, what does the price come to? I don't know actually, I haven't totaled it up, but I guess if you're buying the V2, is it the Pro Kit or something? It must come with some of this stuff. Yeah. Do your homework, look on the Hobby King website, see what you get for your money and you can decide for yourself. But I'm going to give this to a number of people to have a look at, see what they think. If they're happy, I will, uh, I'll be happy too and we'll have the lineup of, I'm going to do a lineup of the video viewing options that are out there, which means obviously the Hobby King visor, there is the Sky Zone goggles, there's the various Fat Shark goggles, I've got the new HD two Fat Shark goggles which I haven't even unboxed yet but I'll be doing that shortly and we lining all this up with a group of four or five people who have all flown FPV before and we'll just ask them what they think uh, which one do they think is the best value which one do they think is the best performance and if they had to spend their own money again what would they buy having tried out all the options there you go that's my look at the Hobby King new camo sleeve and the new v2 add-on kit and the mods that you need to do to make it work properly so if you've got a question comment put them in the usual place and in the meantime time for me to clear my bench get on with more stuff thanks for watching bye for now oops i almost forgot if you haven't bought a version 2 video visor i see hobby king have just put a new coming soon up on their website this is a product that looks very much like the head play unit it what is it uh, it's going to be available who knows when but it seems to promise uh, a full HD display, a 1080p HD LCD. That looks pretty interesting. But having said that, well, if you're using an SD camera, it's not going to make a snot load of difference. There's no price indicated. We don't really know if it's going to be better than the V2 video visor. We don't know the price. So if you're getting into FPV now, then you buy a version 2 because you can always buy one of these later. And it's always nice to have a backup set of optics for your FPV work. Nothing worse than finding your video goggles or visor have failed and you've got a weekend ahead of you and you can't fly any FPV. You've really got to have some kind of backup to make sure you're not left sitting on the sidelines watching other people fly FPV. So there you go. Uh, I say buy what you can now but but be aware that there does seem to be a better product, possibly better product, in the pipeline.